Hi guys, Freddy here with Adam, as usual, mm -hmm. and we're back with another box from Snack Surprise. Yeah. And they haven't taken like two months to send it to us. Yeah, because <laughs> isn't this last month? <laughs> yes, this is the June box that we've now got in July. July. Because <laughs> yeah. we got the May box at the very end of June, yeah. <laughs> the very last day. But this is us now got Student box. We're catch up. <laughs> Wait, they've got ten days left of July. Maybe they're not going to quite catch up quite yet. Uh, they're going to be behind again. But uh, and it's another repeat box. Ah, uh, it's France. France. All right. We've. When was... And it doesn't have a word search pretending to be a crossword on the back. <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's a maze. Hey. Word maze. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> road to the Eiffel Tower. Not the Eiffel Tower. Just road to Eiffel Tower. Mm. Road to Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they're from Lancashire. Yeah. <laughs> Road to Eiffel Tower. <laughs> um, inside, the usual facts about France. Mm -hmm. What's in our box, which actually looks pretty familiar to me. Uh, I think they've just pretty much given us what we got last time. Uh, it the, was pretty far. How long ago was it? It's been over a year, hasn't it? I don't know. I've got the strange feeling we've done friends. This will be the third time, but no, I'm sure it can't be. If the, this isn't the third repeat, it cannot possibly be. I don't know. I don't know at all. I hope not. <laughs> Just like <sighs> France Part Three, <laughs> we're going for it. And France again, 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 <laughs> again, again. <laughs> um, the premium box looks to have some interesting stuff in it. They've got some cheeseburger crisps. Which, if going by the terrible ones the other month, yeah, yeah probably not. It might be interesting. They surely can't be as bad as the fried eggs ones. The <laughs> make at home recipe is French onion soup, um, and the sweet thing is crepes, so pancakes basically. Hmm. Anyway, I will pass the stop. instructions menu, whatever you stop call it. Stop looking at what we're not getting, and let's look at what we are getting. Yes. So, first of all, big bag big of crisps, bag of crisps as always. which seems to be occupying like a quarter of the box. Oh god. We have Lay's Fritel Gout Bacon. I was going to say Gout Bacon, but Gout is something else. <laughs> yes, Gout is an illness you get from just eating bacon all the time. Hey! <laughs> Not eating food. Right, what does it say about Fritel Gout Bacon? Calling all baking lovers. <laughs> These Lay's Bacon flavoured chips are the ultimate savoury snack. You'll have it for going home. From the okay. picture, I was wondering if it was like fries and bacon. Oh. But obviously that's just the sticks. It's going to be mm. uh, chip sticks. Yeah. It's going to be chip sticks. Yeah. Yep. Chip sticks. Nah. Just wheaty sticks. They're solid. Got a good crunch to them. You'd win. Kind of not expect that. And the bacon flavour. You'd expect bacon. Really powerful. Not that powerful. It's but not that bacon. powerful. It's a really good bacon taste. Yeah. yeah. That's really good. Oh. Just aced that. Yeah, Actually. that's a really good start. I like mm. my meaty flavours of crisps. I like mm. my beef and my bacon. Mm. Oh, well. If they sold them here, yeah. Absolutely. You'd buy them. Yeah. I get them all the time. They're magic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Starting off with a really good one. Um. Can't remember what the crisps we got last time, were they? I don't believe it was bacon. No, it was weird ones. Now next is another rather large one, the Berlin Best of? Best of, best of Ber Ber Berlin Crackers, yeah. France's favourite crackers brand. This box gives you a delicious section of Berlin Crackers crisps and delicious and delicately baked. <laughs> baked. I thought it said deliciously baked and I'm like... Okay, it's crackants it says on the box, so that's obviously French for crackers I guess. Probably. Um, and they look like they've got pepper and melted cheese on the top. Hmm. That's a bunch of different flavours. Uh... Oh, I thought the camera was focusing better this time, but it's not. Aww. It's all over the place. So lots of blurry pictures of boxes for you as this video. Inside the box, there's a little plastic bag. Plastic bag, just to make sure it doesn't escape. Keep them fresh. Yeah. What is it? Um, There's some crackers that yeah, are they're... very much broken apart. Some very broken crackers, okay. This one just mm. seems very plain. 
very um, crumbly, I guess. Not much, a bit of a cheese taste, but very, mm -hmm. it's very aftertaste cheese. Melty cheese on that one. I've... Those are, the texture's weird. Rather weirdly, the one which looks like it's got melted cheese on the top tasted less of cheese than the other one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, triangle one with pepper. I'm gonna try them all. Why not? I'm. A, I'm. I'm, I'm I oh. Oh. Pepper. Different texture. Way more crunchy than the others. Oh. Um. I you got one. Oh. Like a, um, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, that's circular a ones. That's a very different texture, that yeah. triangle one. The Why pepper's very mild. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not excited by the taste of that. The one with the melted cheese didn't taste the cheese at all. <laughs> Maybe I, it's not melted cheese? I, I, no, I definitely mm. had cheesy taste to it. But like, um, yeah, those are um, weird. One of them's got a really bad texture, the other one's got a mild taste. This one has like no taste, basically, but decent texture. I mean, it's Wait a second, there's a picture of a figure eight one on there as well. Oh, I God, haven't seen done? a figure eight one. You're going to go digging. Well, we want to get the full range of flavours. Okay, tiny figure eight. Go for it. What flavour? It, it tastes of cracker. Huh. <laughs> Who knew? There's no flavouring on that at all. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. The hexagonal ones... Which all broke apart. They were way too soft. They all broke apart. A really quite nice cheese taste. Mm. The irregular shaped ones with the, what looks like melted cheese taste very slightly of cheese. The peppery ones have a really nice texture and taste very mildly of pepper. And the figure eight ones taste nothing. Well, not what I expected. They're, they're all right though. Yeah. I'd say it's just a weird box. Yeah. Um, I don't think I, I don't think anyone would buy that, but like it's uh, existing. Oh, uh, I guess you'd buy it if you wanted something like the dip, like if you had something. Oh yeah, with dips they could be. They're a bit small though. You dip, end up you dipping your fingers into whatever you yeah. were dipping. A, uh, but that's, that's the a, only thing, kind of thing yeah, I see absolutely. for them. They're too small to butter and mm -hmm. but like especially um, spreading the, cheese or anything mm -hmm. on. Especially the um, hexagon one because that just broke apart. Yeah. I'm not sure what they're for, but they were all right. Mm, I guess. Okay, we've got next Lou Napolitain, a very silvery packet. Lou Napolitain. We get a much better packet here. Look at that. <laughs> That's just a silver wrap. This is a whole like package. <laughs> I'm guessing there's like six in there or something. Uh, and they, they bought it and one. they gave us one. Yeah. God damn. Ooh. These delicious soft cakes from Lou bring you the classic Napolitain flavour. Okay. They are really interesting to look at. It was not yeah. what I expected at got, all in there. I've got icy There's like chocolate sprinkles. sprinkles on the top, a then, wee bit melted into the icing. There's icing and cream. sponge layers. If the camera will focus on anything except faces. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you see roughly what it is. Mm -hmm. It goes icing with sprinkles, then sponge, then like cocoa with dark and normal. Mm -hmm. Looks like. That's if I. Um, I wasn't keen on the cocoa taste. The icing is pleasant enough icing. The sponge yeah. is pleasant enough sponge. But there's a cocoa layer in there, which, as we've commented in videos before, we're not really keen on cocoa. Yeah. That's um meh. Yeah, that makes it meh. It's existing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it's a noun. Shall we go for the juice again? Maybe. All right, we have a genie lemon. That was green. Why is it yeah. lemon? Why are they Last keep doing time this? The the bottle had a green label and was lemon. Is it only Britain that uses yellow for lemon? But they're yellow. <laughs> yeah, but I don't green know. Green is for lime. <laughs> but lots of times we use a color for something, which isn't. Related to how it tastes. Maybe. Just to colour code something. So, um, salt and vinegar crisps, what colour's the packet? Salt and vinegar, are they blue? Oh no, they're green. Green. Cheese and onion crisps. No, they're blue. Yeah. Not related to the flavour at all, but we know what colour codes. So, is it Europe? 
Green is for lemon? I don't know. Anyway. But two different countries. What was it? What did we have last time? <laughs> Bulgaria again? It was Bulgaria again. Bulgaria yeah. and France on opposite sides of the continent both use green. Weird. But okay. Anyway, stop talking about that. Um, just refreshing hot drink, you know. Just right. Good drink for summer. I'm going to wipe down the top of the can because I don't know whether the camera can make it, to make it out, but there's like brown stained onto the what top. What the hell? <laughs> Why is that chocolate? I'm yeah. hoping it's chocolate, because we're just about to drink from this. <laughs> what else would it be? I don't want to think of that. Rat poop. Ah. <laughs> Where's the rat? <laughs> Extra food. I mean, what? <laughs> okay. We're going to get a faint chocolate taste. <laughs> or a faint other taste. <laughs> oh, I'm not keen on lemon, but that's very lemon. Oh, that's good. That's very refreshing. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's rather marvellous. Genie Lemon in its weird green can is... I'm kind of regretting opening that early because the fizz is going to be gone this afternoon. <laughs> Regar this is the first thing we're giving, giving to the other people because I want to drink yeah. that without the <laughs> without a a bit too lemon, but... Yeah, I, that was I pretty good. I like that. Um... Okay, Lou apparently bring, gives everything in silver packets. So we have another Lou one. And it is Petty Ochilia Pocket. I don't have any Lou Petty Ochilia. I have Petty Ochilia. Oh, I, there's no Lou on it. This simple yet indulgent pocket biscuit combines Lou's crunchy butter biscuit with delicious milk chocolate. Pocket biscuit. It's a little oh biscuit. Is there more? Or is that the only one in the bag? There's two in there. Oh, oh, nice. And it has quite a nice sort of painting type engraving on oh. the top. It seems almost a shame to eat it. We're gonna eat it anyway. Ah. Yeah. Slightly malty biscuit. Mhm. Mm the crunch is good. Um, milk chocolate isn't overpowering. But still has the aftertaste. That's very pleasant. Yep. Yeah, very nice indeed. Um, the slight maltiness of the biscuit with the chocolate on top it really combines nicely. Yeah, Lou Petit Ecolier pocket biscuits. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Lou's stuff has been quite decent, and we have another Lou to go. Do we? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, we have Lou Granny to go. Okay, um, let's go for it then. Lou Granny. Lou Chamonix. Oh, this is... Okay, we have... Okay, that's a different Lou thing. Chamonix à l'orange. Made using the same 100-year-old recipe. The Chamonix cake is filled with orange marmalade. Okay, I don't really like orange flavouring, but maybe. Lou has aced so far. Oh, slightly soft. Um, Seems almost like icing on the top. Um, baked underneath. <clears throat> oh, okay, that's not mine because I don't like orange flavouring, but <coughs> a bit too powdery, I'd say. Um, I really liked it. Oh. It's like a Jaffa cake, but softer. Ah, uh, I don't like Jaffa cakes, so that's why. I really do like Jaffa Cakes, and the fact that that's like orange inside um, with the icing and the sponge, it's softer than a Jaffa Cake, more cakey, mm. and very pleasant. Yeah. Everybody knows Jaffa Cakes basically a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> the story behind Jaffa Cakes, if anybody is unaware, is you don't get taxed for making cakes, you get taxed for making biscuits. The so Vitties on making Jaffa Cakes had to go to court to prove that a Jaffa Cake was a cake and not a biscuit. The ruling was that a cake you make in various sizes, whereas biscuits you can only make small. So they made an enormous Jaffa <laughs> Cake <laughs> and took it into the court and went, See, it's a cake! <laughs> <laughs> that is... <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> it's so dumb, but it's kind of a cool story. But so Jaffa cakes are cakes. <laughs> are they so they won the court case. Yes. Huh. <laughs> God damn. 
And there's lots of cakey things in here. Let's try a like sweetie instead. Okay. Haribo Draggy Bus. Fruit flavor treats, loved by both kids and adults. Nothing they, special. They look like jelly beans. I really like jelly beans. Jelly beans. Not jelly beans. <laughs> jelly beans. We don't like jelly beans. Um, Draggy Bus is a name I remember, so I think we've tried these before. Oh, well. I get like a couple. They are. I'm trying to get. I'm sure there's a black one in here, which will probably be licorice flavored, which I adore. I know. And I'll get a green one because that's probably lime. And that's one. Okay, they are small jelly bean type things. I'll try the green first. Very chewy. I don't think we should. Okay, I'm going to put these two back. <laughs> yeah. Way more chewy than a jelly bean. Mm -hmm. And way more gummy. Uh, um, the green was weird. <laughs> the green in is uh, like a lime type flavor, but not any, not sour at all. Yeah. And the black is, yeah, kind of licorice, kind of aniseedy. Fine. Meh. I like jelly beans. These are not a great version of jelly beans. Yep. Agreed. Very disappointing, those are. Okay, more Haribo. Oh, great. Yep, Haribo, because that's the most French thing you can get. Mm -hmm. It's not like they sell them absolutely everywhere. Haribo Orangina Pick. Mixed combines the tasty flavour of France's favourite orange soda and classic sweet Haribo. So, orange sour, hopefully? I see lots of bits on it, so that looks sour to me. Um, well, Orangina's a sort of fresh orange drink you get. It's quite expensive. Your brother absolutely loves it. Ah. Um, and... Okay. You're getting a yellow one. I'm going to get a red one. They're like little bottles of Orangina. That's what Orangina bottles look like. They're sort of bulbous at the bottom. Maybe mm -hmm. Pardon the expression. <laughs> My brother's going to love this. Because... He likes sour, and he apparently loves orangina, so combine it. I like sour a lot. Strong sour taste on the outside. I cannot identify what the flavour of the chew is. Mm -hmm. The sour is overwhelming it. I don't mind that, because I love sour. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's unpleasant, I'm just... Commenting. Yeah. And it's gone mine before was, I got to the flavour. <laughs> mine was slightly, I think, lemony, orangey kind of flavour. I got. My mouth is still very sour from the mm -hmm. um, sour sugar on the outside. I I, tr I was trying to ignore the sour. <laughs> I suddenly go, what is that? Yeah, <laughs> I kind of wanted to see what it was like, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just. <sighs> I, 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 I. Okay, I think we only have three things left. So we'll go back to Lou. We'll go back to Lou. <laughs> The Lou Granny that Adam was talking about before. Lou Granny. An exquisitive French cereal bar containing delicious chocolate pieces, corn, rice, flour, oat cakes, wheat flour, and malted rye flakes. Okay. Okay, so, so it's a cereal bar. It's um, chunks of nuts and things in it. Again, the camera's not really... Can we get it to focus? Well, there's chocolate Slightly. pieces. There's also chocolate pieces in it. So. Yeah. You want to try it first? I've been... Taking first bite a lot this video. Mm -hmm. So, um, oh, very soft. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Nuts. Yeah. The chocolate yeah. is European chocolate and not quite to my flavour. I don't mind it. I I I say the only bad thing about it is that the tastes and the texture conflict. Mm -hmm. It's not corny chocolate, it's nut chocolate than the rice. It goes one, one, one. It's not all mixed together. It's very conflicting. The, the chocolate flavour overwhelms everything else, mm -hmm. yeah. So you're eating nuts and grain and crunchy stuff and that's how it feels, but all you can taste is chocolate. <laughs> I, got, I didn't get the chocolate at the beginning though. I got very much nut at the beginning and that's all I got for a while and then chocolate forever. I'm deliberately steering clear of something because I seem to remember it being incredibly chewy. 
Right. <laughs> okay. Another cake. Now, France and pastries go together quite well. Yeah. And we've had a lot, and they've been decent. What's this? So we've got St. Michel. Come on, camera, focus on it. <laughs> no, he doesn't, doesn't want to. Want Madeline. Madeline. Yeah, it says Saint, Madeline. St. Michael bring, brings you these mm. indulgent chocolate coated Madeleines. They taste like they just like homemade. Right, I know where the chocolate came from on the outside. Oh, there's a leak. <laughs> the chocolate's come out of this. It's definitely leaked out. Which insinuates this is melted on the way. Oh. Given we're recording this just after Britain's had its hottest days on record. Mm -hmm. Even though we're in Scotland, these boxes are shipped up from down south, so they've been in hot mail vans, metal boxes. I'm just imagining the, me the metal. <laughs> I'm imagining these vans have passed, uh, have just travelled past the fires, <laughs> just like a burning house, and then just snack box. <laughs> okay. It's like a little UFO type thing. UFO. <laughs> they come from space. And melting all over my fingers. Mm. Yeah. Okay, inside it just appears to be sponge. I'll take a bite deeper in case the bulge hides something. Maybe. I don't think so. It's, um... Nope, it's just sponge all the way through. Sponge, a bit of weird chocolate. It's alright. Not anything to go home about. Yeah. It melts everywhere. That's because it's like... It's, when... like, it's like 76 degrees Fahrenheit or something like that. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't convert. I don't know either. I meant to say Celsius as a joke, and I accidentally said Fahrenheit, which is roughly what it is, probably. Um, I don't actually know. Now, when this box arrived, I stuck it in the fridge because I didn't want it all melting. And it seems to have anyway. managed it. Anyway. <laughs> hey, I mean, if we had come out with rock solid chocolate bars, then our oh, rocks like these, like what? What would this be? What like rock coming out of the freezer? Yeah. Well. These I seem to remember, caram bars, caramel. Mm. I seem to remember us struggling at the end of a video, trying to chew the hell out of them. Is there a so we've decided to do that again at the yes. end of a video. <laughs> Better than the middle of the video. <laughs> yeah, but we could be describing it. <laughs> Caramel carambar is a traditional French snack bringing back childhood memories for many of these soft chewy sticks have a caramel <laughs> taste. Oh god. I remember these. Mm -hmm. So, I am not going to have one. <laughs> I am going to leave it because I remember what these taste like. Just caramel. Yeah. Wee bit of chocolate. Kinda it's caramel. caramel. It tastes fine. It's too it hard. is impervious to teeth. <laughs> you're, you're just sucking on a rock. My teeth now hurt from the effort to bite through that. Oh god. <laughs> Don't break your teeth from this. <laughs> We're gonna have an accent lie. Um, yeah, it's absolutely fine. It's too hard. Um, I'm not a fan of those at all. Uh, I think they're so impervious to teeth that if you built shark cages out of them, <laughs> you could delve into the sea and be safe. <laughs> Not see through. Right. Hi. So that is it. That yes. is the France box again, or again again, if it turns out it is the third time. Maybe. You'll so be able to tell in the title wherever the title is. <laughs> um, what did you think? Started off strong. And that went downhill from there, and kept going down. The bacon fritelle were brilliant. Anyway, yeah. I'm going to grab one. Yes. I'm really a fan of these. These are the best. They can't... We should make the whole video about these. We keep saying in these boxes that the savoury stuff is better. Yeah. And this proves it once again. Yeah. To a degree. Mm-hmm. Because the fritelle were brilliant, but the only other savoury thing in this box was the best of Berlin. Well, there's usually only two savoury things anyway. But the last couple we've had extra. They okay, were heavily savoury. Okay, fair. And we were like, oh, this is brilliant, because that's what they're good at. Yeah. But the best of Berlin weren't great. They were weird. They're, they're fine. They're they different. Exist. So good. But 
I'm not impressed, especially as the mixture in the box. I think if it was just the cheesy ones, the hexagonal ones, they'd be quite pleasant. But I'm still not quite sure what they're for. Mm -hmm. The cakes were all decent. The Lou um, Pito Ecolier, the little fancy biscuits, were very nice. Um, the Haribo were Haribo. <laughs> Not the grapes, was but they were fine. The sour ones were good. The orange juice was very, very nice. Oh yeah, the orange juice is the other, another highlight. But it's kind of an average box. Yep. Better than Bulgaria last month? Yes. Yeah. Last month. I'd go with that. But... Last month, two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> last box. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, correct me on camera. Yes. Amongst our... 20 views <laughs> <laughs> against our handful of fans. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we have like three. And they're mostly I'm family. looking at you. <laughs> you know who I, you are. Um, so that's it. I have nothing much more to add. Do you have anything left? Nah. Okay, so thank you very, very much for watching. But, as always, you look after yourselves, and we'll catch you later. Bye now. Bye-bye.